Hey guys, hopefully this uh, video is showing what I want it to. My, of course, my phone died as soon as I was going to make this video, so I can't uh, view what's going on on, this, uh, on the screen. But, uh, so yeah, hopefully this is in focus, otherwise I guess I'll just delete it. So anyway, uh, in this video, I'm just going to be going over a couple cosmetic, more or less, modifications that I made to the uh, arrow gun. Uh, and then I'll probably be shooting a couple little things. Um, so yeah, uh, we will start with hopefully the obvious one. Uh, I machined some parts out of brass for this thing. Like I said, strictly it's more or less aesthetics. Um, the first one is going to be this uh, brass chamber here. Um, it's slightly bugged, it's uh, slightly bigger than the aluminum one that was on there. The internal volume is bigger so I should get some more powerful shots out of it. And I just like the fact that, you know, a couple of the fittings already were brass and I kind of wanted to spice it up a little bit with, with a little more brass. So um, turn this on the lathe. Like I said, there is a hole in there. It's a, it's a chamber. Uh, the other one is going to be this um, hexagonal uh, eighth inch NPT coupling. Um, before it was just a, in fact, it was just like this. It was a large piece of copper and I just decided to remake it out of brass. Um, if some of you remember, this T used to be facing the other way, then there was a 90 degree that came off, and then and the fill nipple was like right here. Uh, obviously I changed that around to clean up some space in front of here. This is temporary. The hardware store um, was closed by the time I got to it today. This will be a short nipple um, once I get that, so the uh, the fill nipple will be a lot closer to here, clean that area up a bit. But yeah, that's going to be about it as far as the modifications I did to this. Um, so like I said, strictly cosmetic. I'll probably polish this uh, brass up and a couple of their little brass bits. I'll try and polish them up and make them look clean. Um, anyway, guns filled to hmm, about 600 PSI. Uh, my arrow is actually right over here. Still a piece of garbage. Um, haven't done anything with this. I am planning on chopping this end off and, and maybe making my own tip. We'll see. I'll mess around with that in a different video. Uh, what I got for you today is I found out that the uh, carbon fiber barrel is almost the perfect inside diameter for uh, six millimeter uh, soft air, airsoft BBs. So I'm going to be shooting some airsoft BBs at some targets and seeing how they react. All right, hopefully this is lined up again. Once again, I can't see what I'm doing, but uh, we'll hope for the best here. What do we got? Three cans full of water. Got a block of aluminum on top of them, uh, strictly so that uh, the air from the gun, uh, not that it would knock them over, but uh, it's better safe than sorry. So three cans with water, aluminum block on top for weight. And we got the gun and uh, got some plastic six millimeter airsoft BBs. And we're gonna shoot and see what they do. Um, don't have a lot of high hopes. I think it'll go through. I think it'll go into one of them, and that's going to be it. But we'll we'll mess around. We'll take a couple shots at this and, and see what happens. So here we go. Well, that did the trick. We'll say water went everywhere on that. Well, you look at this. Even blew the aluminum block over. Um. Wow, look at that. A little bit of an angle through it but it did go all the way through and actually if I'm looking here there is, I don't know if you'll be able to see this or if it's even in the camera, but there is a small dent right there from it so it went all the way through, well more or less all the way through one um, look at that crazy how much how it dented it, pretty weird stuff there um, we'll take another one I should show you, here's the BBs that I'm shooting, like I said, just a plastic 6mm um, airsoft BB. Uh, so we'll take another shot, and I think this time we're going to shoot uh, at 120 frames per second, which is the most my camera will do, uh, and we'll, we'll try and get a, a close-up of it. Um, with the 120 frames, there is no sound, so uh, enjoy.
crazily enough, that did more damage that time. Well, in a sense, it did more damage that time than the first shot did. And this was at lower PSI. Um, I got a couple ideas as to why that is, but let's take a look at the damage first. That's got to be the uh, input hole. There's the out. And this is a, I believe the aluminum um, is slightly thicker towards the top. And this is pretty much right through the top. So pretty powerful shot there through water the entire way. And if we look at this can, the can behind it also got punctured. Um, looks like this one is just through. Uh, the BB is probably in there somewhere. And in fact, I'll dump it out here in a minute and check. Um, but yeah, just through, through one side of it there. Uh, could be a couple of reasons for this. I think with the fact that it blew the, uh, the aluminum block right off the top of it, I think because the aluminum block was covering uh, both cans, the, the force of the, uh, the BB traveling into it uh, forced the, the water wand to go somewhere, and I think the force of it was so you know, explosive, literally, that it, uh, you know, lifted the block right off, blew it off, and uh, maybe that's what uh, allowed the, the BB to go right through both of them. Not really sure. Um, but yeah, hopefully this video was uh, able to be seen. Everything was visible to you. So yeah, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. Like, subscribe, comment if you want, and uh, take care. See you later. Hey guys, check this out. Super weird. I just emptied out that can, the last one, and there's what was inside of it. One complete <clears throat> Airsoft BB and one in pieces. Um, <laughs> really strange. Don't know what happened there. There's only one puncture hole, and each time I only, only loaded one BB. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what happened. Thought I'd share that with you though. If you have any ideas, let me know. Um, yeah, really strange. Interesting to see that that one um, broke too. So anyway, yep, that'll be it now. So we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.